If you guys are curious how to make your mums thrive, I'm about to show you. I learned from you guys last year. This is the first year I've seen white mums. They're beautiful. They have a little bit of yellow to them, but they're beautiful. And then these are just starting to bloom. Um, these are from Costco. This one fell over yesterday. I'm so sad it fell over while we were gone to the apple orchard. So it's like kind of spacey but they're still doing like so much better than my moms have ever done and this is how so I didn't know that moms are bottom feeders you guys told me that last year um you can do these I mean any which way like I have tubs you know that I've done them in my mom did hers in her uh like I did like plastic tubs last year my mom just threw hers in her bathtub but once a week you're gonna want to take your moms and like plant them in like so this is a walmart pot that i made you're gonna want to still leave it in this pot pick up this whole thing and the whole thing goes in the water let it sit for like an hour and then throughout the week if you're gonna water them make sure you have one of those that has like it can get down to the roots don't water the um top of the flowers themselves because these are prone to fungus i think is what i read so they're prone to something so you shouldn't water the petals for an hour honestly I might leave those for an hour and a half because I can feel that they're a little dry so this is what I do and this pool has been very convenient and then I dump the water out after they're all done and I just go put it back in the garage but loving the way these these are gonna look so beautiful when they bloom obsessed with the color what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you want my foot? Okay. We're going. We're going. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ezra's not wearing any underwear, so can't can't show him today. Good job, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Good job. Our Walmart groceries didn't need a ton of stuff, but I want to show you guys the most delicious little little thing we're gonna do here. So we are taking these pumpkin-shaped sugar cookies and these chocolate chip cookie lover, the Nestle Toll House kind, and we're gonna put them together. I have seen these cooked a number of ways. Some people put both of the pieces of dough on top of each other and then cook them all at once. I don't think that's the best way to cook them. You cook them separately, kind of. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm using this Walmart tray. We already used the big one, which I'm kind of irritated about because that's probably the better one. But I also don't think we're gonna make all of these. So. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, no, wait, I got the big ones. Okay, that's fine. line those up so they don't touch and then I'm gonna put them in the oven 350 for five minutes while we're doing that I'll go ahead and show you guys the rest of what we got I did get two of those because I wanted to film <clears throat> a reel about it I already put the chocolate milk and regular milk in the fridge and then I got sausage um, like breakfast sausage because I've been loving to do a super super high protein breakfast I've been back to intermittent fasting now that I hit my weight loss goals, I like kind of fell off a little bit. Makes sense, but I got to get it going if I want to stay like this. So um, I'm back to intermittent fasting. 
and as soon as the like intermittent fasting window like opens or whatever and you can start eating if i do a super 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 high protein breakfast i'm like not hungry and i don't snack as much throughout the day so i've been doing like two sausage patties or like two sausage sausage links two eggs and then one of those kodiak muffin or even the pancake cups it's not low in calorie but you're again you're fuller longer so it's, it balances but anyway already put those in the fridge doing these because we're going to do chicken strip with wraps i always like those kind of chicken for wraps crinkle cut fries for something sam asked for those specifically texas toast because it's always so good to have texas toast or garlic knots um if you're doing like a spaghetti or any kind of like red pasta it's not the healthiest of all i got four yellow onions because i do have a lot of like red pasta style meals i want to make this week and onions are always superb for that i'm doing another like crock pot chicken pot pie recipe i did it on my instagram and last time i only did yellow potatoes and i had said like next time i'm going to do the variety so i got the american <clears throat> blend bite-sized potatoes and then I'm still gonna cut these up, but there's a variety of colors. Chicken broth, beef broth, I swear, those are two things. Like when you bake a lot, I mean, when you cook a lot, like those are two things you always need. I did get some blueberries, two packs of those. I needed to get some of the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. I heard that like Irish butter is supposed to be good better ish for you i don't know sour cream this this goes in the little chicken pot pie it's just mixed vegetables carrots green beans corn and peas you put this whole package in there and because it's a crock pot meal you just take them straight out of the freezer there's no prep added these as well these are the cream of chicken soups that go in there i'll post the reel in the um description bar this is canned chicken god this seems like such an unhealthy hell probably because it is so this kind of chicken is really good if you do a chicken spicy chicken dip chicken dip yeah just bu buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't get that word out buffalo chicken dip the hot sauce literally has the recipe on the back follow that one and it says put cooked chicken in there if you're gonna do something like that i find that it's easier to use this kind of chicken um, it's just chunked chicken breast with rib meat and water fully cooked you dump the water out and then throw it in the crock pot if you're making something like that and it's so convenient i did get two packages of strawberries we're gonna cut all these up today <clears throat> we're about to go take cookies in. got the boys some more mac and cheese because they love some mac and cheese as a side dish i got the uh, they were out of my usual eggs, so this is a replacement. This is the market side organic grade A cage free large eggs. I guess what they said is the equivalent of what I ordered. I don't believe it is, but um, I just got 12, 24 of those because when I tell y'all we go through eggs like nothing I've ever seen. There's actually a local farm my dad goes to and gets his eggs. I'm gonna have to start going there because he absolutely raves about their eggs. Um, the yolks he says are like orange egg noodles for beef stroganoff the oh, my ground beef wasn't in here ragu and then also tomato paste i need to make sure i put that on there that i didn't get the ground beef dang it they are not fully cooked right you got five minutes but these you're gonna put them on top It is literally the best cookie because it's like a sugar cookie with a chocolate cookie. God, here I am. So I'm, I'm gonna make fasting again because you know I hit my goal weight. Here, here's French fries and sugar cookies on top of chocolate cookies. Okay, now you're gonna put them back in the oven for like like five to ten minutes. Don't forget that that pan is very hot. 
then you got it started for 10 minutes, 350. And they're just a cooking on top of each other. Look at those handprints, y'all. There they are. They kind of, you gotta let them sit for a few minutes. It's like not solid, but you place and then it like fills the center or something from the top. It's like pours in. I don't know. I wanted to show you guys. Get that out, please. I haven't cleaned up all this. So this is our last night having to pull these curtains together and squinting through dinner because on Tuesday our blinds come. This is our setup. <laughs> it's been so rigged up. So, anyways, because I mean, look at that sun. It is bright, and all throughout the rest of our house, here and here. Even in these, we will have those. So you can see just like how bright it is in here. And then, goodness, Ezra's on a no nap dice. That's why he's grumpy. Look how much darker. Like it still looks bright, but like you can see the reflection I mean, it, it is so much darker. So we are really, really excited. You that cookie? <laughs> You're such a little ham. Uh, oh, don't fall. Look how cute you are. You can, were such a cute. Push this? No, don't put your finger on it, you silly Billy. You like your cookie? Yep, I like it. It's good, isn't it? It's so yummy. Naturally flatten. Yeah. Got a clean water tank and an empty um, tank that's been washed out. And then we gotta change the filter for the first time. So we've used this every day for a month. And it mops and vacuums for us. And this is the first time. And I guess you have to just basically like put a whole new filter in it every time. So you just slide this little piece in right here. And then you can hear it. Stand by. Allie ain't about it, but at the same time she's hungry, so she ain't, she, oh, it's okay, girl. It's okay. So it goes in, I'm just gonna wash them up. Oh. Nope, we're scanning the room. Sorry, it's trying to figure out where it is. Okay, it's trying to make sure it's in the same place it was when it finished. I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing ever. I will talk about this product until the end of time. Going to wash the mop. Yeah, so it's gonna back in and wash the mop before it gets started, make sure there's nothing left. And then it'll get started. And what we do is we keep that door shut and then we keep these two. Boys are both in bed. I don't know what happened to Ezra's here in his room. Um, but we just kind of block this area. Um, so that it didn't go back there and disturb them. And then it will wash the entire house and mop it and the whole nine. I look like garbage. I don't feel that great. I'm exhausted. I was up for hours last night and so was E. Um, just, we just did not sleep good. So yeah, girl's exhausted. Um, but I'm gonna go work out with as little energy as I have. And then I will see you guys tomorrow.